Hey folks, I'm at the New Parkway Cinema, so we're going to find out what this new version of the popular speakeasy is all about. I think I'm going to have to, oh, yeah, ring the buzzer. Doorbell, please ring. And I've done that. Reach the Dream, got to check that out. Are you Randy? Yeah. Hey, tell my viewers about Reach the Dream. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce oh yourself. God. Sorry. This is... That's the wrong event to introduce because oh. it's, yeah, it's actually a rental. Oh. So it's sort of a, it's not a private event, it's actually a public event, but I didn't coordinate it. Okay. So. <laughs> gotcha. So, okay, no problem. But, yeah, well. Hey, look, this is a great space. Wow, look at this place. This is something else. My gosh. Man, oh man. Uh, this is really something. Uh, so now we're upstairs and Randy, uh, introduce your colleague. Okay. Hi, this is Theater Operations Manager Karen Barnett. Hey, Karen. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And so tell my viewers how you rescued the uh, parkway from, you know, obs obscurity. Yeah, yeah well, just... actually, we have a general manager largely to thank for that. He, um, man he got about 86 investors together to put their money and their creativity and their talent into resurrecting the idea and the spirit of the old parkway. Knowing that it would be its own unique place and you know would hopefully build its own identity and its own strengths, but yeah, I mean, it was um, definitely inspired by the original parkway speakeasy. And That's the... That means I can come here and I can watch like funny movies and I can have can. great pizza and beer. You can. You can watch more than funny movies. Uh, you do, what would you say, Randy, about 18 shows a week at this point? Yeah. Uh, quite, quite a diverse set of programming uh, going on here. Uh, everything from local stuff to documentaries to Hollywood features to ACLU screenings. Um, it's quite diverse. Uh, we try and provide something for everybody. Is there... Anything like the old, uh, like Will had the thrill list and all that sort of thing? Is that? Yes. Because I know Will contacted me a while ago saying, hey, I'm getting involved in this new parkway and yeah. everything. And so he was really excited. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah Thrillville is every Sunday at 6 p.m. Will Vajaro is still involved. He's, as you, many of you may know, he was the old programmer at the original Parkway Speakeasy. Hey, hold on a second. Get off that boat in Miami, Will, and give me an interview about this, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to do that. And yeah, so Will is a big part of a, a big part of what I see making this work. So he not only programs Thrillville every Sunday at 6 p.m., but every other Thursday he's doing a series called Parkway Classics, which is, you know, cult movies that were a big hit at the old park. Right. So like Big Lebowski, Serenity, yeah. we've got um, Team oh, America, Serenity. Bottle yeah. Rocket, like yeah. things that had a track record for him at the old space. and. Um, but yeah, I, we love having Will on board, and yeah, I mean, he's just got republished, and there are yeah. movie options, so like, I don't know, I'm hoping for a premiere, but yeah, or something. Yeah. He'll give it to you. Yeah. Hey, take us for a walk around. Let's see what Excellent. this looks like. This is really great. And tell the address, by the way. The address is 47424. Between? Right between Broadway and Telegraph. And the Y is in that direction, actually. Yeah, yeah exactly. the YMCA. Okay. Yeah, we're like three quarters of a block from the YMCA. So All right, cool. Four blocks from Bart, five blocks right Grand. Right. Oh, okay. Four or five. And I'll go wide angle so we can get a better idea. So this is this our is control room. Ooh. We're actually a really unique cinema in the sense that both of our auditoriums, we operate the projectors remotely. So there's no, oh. you know, typically you see a projection booth in the auditorium. We run it all from up here. We can run... Um, we run digital cinema off of servers, so you know they're really high quality. And you have a Forbidden Planet, if I'm not mistaken, right? That is Queen There's of a, Outer Space. Queen of Outer That's Space looks like Forbidden Planet. Thrillville no. this Sunday. Thrillville, you know, Queen of Outer Space. Yeah. Okay. So Whoa. We can run um, cable, Blu-ray, Blu-ray. We can run from a laptop at the screen, so we've got this whole like presentation component to what we can do. Um, yeah. Wow. This it's is pretty really amazing. Diverse 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 wow. Program. Yeah, it sure is. This is really something else. So yeah, here's that's the, the control. We got the back there. There's our growing DVD library. Wow. Your viewers can't feel how hot it is. In okay, here, so what's your favorite? What's your favorite? You have a favorite? Favorite movie. Um, I like like Onibaba or Eating Raul. Yeah. I love sort of campy. 
Karen? That's what gets me to the What's your favorite? No I, escape. <laughs> I'm a big fan of seeing the sub run features that we have here because I often can't get out to the movie theaters when those shows come out. So, like for instance, this week I'd still like to see the Sapphires and I'm going to make time for oh. it. Um, and it's nice that those, those titles come here and we have a chance to see them when they're gone from every other theater in the area. Yeah. So, next on the tour. Sorry. sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to take you up through the balcony of Theater One. Okay. This mezzanine access is... Cool. And now we're walking, folks. Going to the back entrance of Theater Ooh. One. Ooh. The dark inner sanctum of Park, the New Parkway. Ooh. Wow. Hey, this is cool. My God, this is cool. This is really nice. Yeah, so this is wow, balcony, this is actually even better than the, the other one. I think. One. Oh, this is like wow. It's so nice. My camera brief. There it goes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So more of a dining style setup at the bottom with four top tables, which is really popular for some of our sporting events, and mm -hmm. we serve full plates of food here, so it's nice. To sporting events, like we had the Super Bowl here or something. Super Bowl, we did. Yep. Yeah, we wow. had a lot of championship games for baseball, hockey, soccer. Um, so those are really popular in this house. And then upstairs we have more like a, what you saw at the old The parkway. couches, more yeah, couches, look at this. This is really cool. Oh. All right, you have to, uh, oh, do you hold this? Yeah. Just, just keep it running. I just want to, look at this, folks. Yeah! <laughs> this is cool. Ah, this is really nice. And I can have my like, pizza here and everything. This is really cool. Man, this is massively cool. Boy. Folks, you gotta, you gotta come here. This is really something else. And that's uh, Queens of Outer Space? Is that's that Queen of Outer Space. Queen of Outer Space. Little, little Sunday, yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> when is that coming on? Is that this weekend? That's this Sunday at, se this uh, Sunday 6, at 6 p.m. At yeah. 6 p.m. Little every Sunday at 6. Hey, let's go downstairs and get a uh, downstairs perspective. This is really cool. This space is nice. That's my, that's my couch, folks. Don't take it. <laughs> Whoa, this is cool. So each theater is equipped God. with its own condiment station. You can self-serve yourself water or a bunch of different toppings for your popcorn. Whoa. Right there. There. Whoa. Yeah, and one of the like, original parts of the business model was to be a green business. So you'll notice like we don't have reuse, we don't have throwaway straws, we don't have throwaway napkins, like we have our own like two um, Industrial strength washers and dryers upstairs. We do all our own laundry. Like ninety percent of what we use at the theater is compostable. Wow! And most of the rest of it is recyclable or repurposed in some way. So yeah. oh. we try and be very sustainable here. Wow! And it's our a nice staff. space too. Yeah. And so yeah, what's uh, so is this open just on the weekends? What's like tonight or is it uh, what's happening? Um, you know, like Monday through Thursday, typically our first show will be about 6 or 6.30. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of rental requests here. And, you know, the, re the rentals... When you say rental, explain that, rental request. Um, what is for that folks who want to, rather than doing, like, a, a typical movie run, they want to rent the space and have it be perhaps either public or private event, but they yeah, want really? to have more control over ticketing, ticket pricing those sorts of things that are going to allow them to feel that it's their event. So in other um, words, so that's sort of the difference. So in other words, I, you all are saying, get together by the way, because I keep going back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you all are saying that if I want to have a Star Trek party, I can use that here, I can do that here. I yeah. can rent out the space and have the tickets purchased online. And You can, there's a couple oh. different ways you can do it. Okay. You can rent it, you would work with me and the rentals managers here, or Randy, he's the lead programmer. And we would get, rent that space to you and help you organize a screening for you and your friends. And this would essentially be your private party. Or we also do something here called Party at the New Parkway, Whoa. which is Sunday evenings. We have a time slot where you can go online and fill out a Party at the Parkway request for what films you would like to see during that time slot. Whoa. And it's a possibility that that title will get chosen. And then you would essentially pre-purchase 40 tickets for you and your friends. And we would screen that. And it would be open to the public. But you get a cake. It's your own kind of little party. It's a way for you to request films without actually having to rent the space. Wow. So I could, what about if a film like Star Trek uh, Into Darkness is going to be rerun later? Can you get that 
and maybe like the USS Golden Gate, well, which is Star Trek Club, can have a party here. So, big hit. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. one thing about studios is mm -hmm. when they've got a big movie like Star Trek that's theatrical, they're going to withhold all previous versions of Star Trek from theatrical screening to mm -hmm. to help keep that you know Ticket excitement to, right. around one film. So. Right. We couldn't book start older Star Treks right now, anyway. Okay. They may let us towards the end of summer, or maybe be, you know. I'm be, thinking like the fall, like beginning October. Beginning of fall, I know, because I already thought we should do Wrath of Khan at some point. Yeah. I mean, but I. Wrath. Be that's that's a great idea. A Wrath of Khan yeah, party. We could do it. The in, real Khan, not the fake one. I liked the fake Khan. <laughs> You didn't like coming. We're gonna back. fight. No, I mean, it doesn't say I didn't like his performance. Okay, I, okay. his performance was awesome, but I'm really pissed off that they hid Khan in that way. It's like, come on, you know, yeah, make yeah. him a new villain. If he's gonna be John Harris, make him John Harris, and don't. I mean, you get what I'm saying here. I've been beaten up okay. on this by this. Like, it's like a, a running battle with my 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 viewers. You know. Uh, anyway, sorry. No, it, <laughs> it's a it's an important topic to a lot of people. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it is. I've, I've, Love the new Star Trek. I thought it was fantastic. I, I did too. Entertaining yeah. and fun, and I can't wait till we get it in July I or did too. August. August. I mean, it's those movies that are so big. You know, we we get them a little. It's been a few months. It'll Mark be, that day. Yeah. I think that's a good way to wind, wind up. Is Mark there any day. any anything else you would like everyone to know? Your phone number, for example. Well, our let's show you theater two. Yes. Really Wait fast. a minute. Yeah. Yeah. And Sorry, then, folks. We're not done. This is, this is a big room. place. <laughs> oh. This is whoa. It says two right on the door there. And whoa, this is cool. This is like a parlor. Well, this is massively cool. Man, oh man. Yeah, so wow. you, what you're seeing is all like mid-century modern furniture that was acquired by... Uh, you, you said this is mid-century modern furniture? Yeah, all mid-century modern uh, living room sets that were acquired from various uh, like flea markets, uh, used furniture stores, people donated furniture from that time period, but they wanted to kind of make it all look, look kind of mid-century modern lounge. Wow, look at this beautiful room. And all the art you see on the walls is left over from the Occupy Oakland protests. Wow. Uh, when the protesters were in here, they kind of took over this warehouse and spray painted a bunch of different uh, murals wow. pieces. So this is like the uh, a homage to Occupy yeah. that was taken over for oddly commercial purposes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I yeah, love we're it. We're actually showing a documentary called Occupy Love here on Monday night. So it's wow. really interesting. We're having a documentary about that movement in this place where that movement sort of it was a part of it in this space. I, so. know a, I know a documentary that should be shown here. It's called While We Watch. It's another Occupy documentary about how uh, the Occupy movement changed media. Ah. Yeah, it's really good. By a, um, a friend of mine helped promote it, Karen Brown, uh, who's going to see this. Sounds and, uh, really interesting. Yeah, and also uh, Kevin Breslin, another friend of mine who's the producer. It's called While We Watch. Cool. Yeah, it'll be really great to have here. Definitely. Cool. Wow. I'm really impressed with this. This is beyond, my, uh, beyond what I expected to see. This is really something else. Congratulations. This is really something else. Oh, and the uh, website? Website's www.thenewparkway.com. All right. Y'all wave us out of here. Say goodbye. Bye. Thanks Hope for checking us soon. out. Yeah, get here. Yes, please. That's an order. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Randy, tell us about uh, who's hosting Sunday's event. Um, this Sunday's Thrillville is hosted by the Queen Slumber Party. And she's sort of, actually many of our Thrillbills are hosted by a local sort of uh, like B-movie curator or minor slur, you know. Yeah. And um, the Queen Slumber Party, Slumber Party. Well, hold on a second. We're not saying you're minor celebrity, you're celebrity. Sorry. No, celebrities. No. Right. Yeah, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes. Sorry, to yeah, clarify. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing <laughs> minor about Queen Slumber Party. Um, but yeah, it's... You know, film enthusiasts, B-movie enthusiasts, folks out there who have dreamed of having their own sort of Elvira-type TV show. And, you know, they co-curate with Will Baharo. They come up with these films and they present them in a way, you know, they'll do games, so they'll have prizes and do trivia or ways to make the event interactive. And again, acknowledging that we have, you know, there's a million ways to see movies. And what we need to do is make it special. So. Thrillville, that's one way that it's special is, you know, we've got these fabulous people who put so much love into 
yeah. bringing a little extra yeah, like, six to that movie. Six o'clock, right? Sunday, six p.m. Hey, show us the t-shirts. Every Sunday at six o'clock. <laughs> Real little dude. So the new Parkway. Yeah, and Ooh. this lovely teal color t-shirt. Yeah, this I like is, that. That's the new Parkway. Logo. I like that. That's one. the. Get it, folks. Get it while it's hot. Hey, Randy. Thanks a lot. You bet. All right. All right. Thank you. Got it.